December 27, 1991, two days after Christmas, Scandinavian Airlines Flight 751 departed from Stockholm, Sweden. During takeoff, both engines of the fairly new DC-9 aircraft stopped working. One engine caught fire. An emergency landing was attempted. The aircraft's fuselage broke into three pieces upon landing. Of the 129 lives on board, no lives were lost in this accident. Today, we will re-examine Flight 751 to better understand what caused this disaster. Flight 751 was scheduled to fly from Stockholm to Copenhagen, then to Warsaw, back to Copenhagen, and then to Barcelona. The aircraft was parked overnight between temperatures of 0 to 1 degrees Celsius. Severe rain and snow had delayed the flight that morning. Before takeoff, the captain performed routine inspections of the aircraft. He ordered the plane to be de-iced twice. Heavy rain and snow from the night had caused a layer of ice, slush, and snow to develop on the wing. Although a technician inspected the wing, he was unable to notice the ice which was out of reach. He could not see the clear ice. During takeoff, the ice from the wings loosened and flew into the engines located at the back of the plane. This damaged the fan blade, preventing a steady flow of air to the back of the engine. Jet engines rely on a steady stream of air for combustion. A series of fans move air to various stages for compression. When the flow is disrupted, fluid at the rear of the engine ignites violently and shoots forward. This is known as a surge. The pilot reduces the throttle, which is required in the event of a surge. He was, however, unaware of the newly installed automatic thrust restoration safety feature. He became confused, not knowing what to do, as the throttle automatically increased. By this time, the left engine had caught fire, cutting off power supply to the plane. It was now descending very rapidly. With no engines, there was no power to maneuver the plane back to the airport. The pilot wisely maintained a straight and level heading and engaged emergency landing procedures. Automatic thrust restoration was a safety feature implemented for pilots who politely lower their throttle to reduce noise during takeoff and landing in residential areas. The pilot was unaware of the automatic thrust restoration installed on the airplane. Had he known the incident could have been avoided by switching off the engine. Uh, I had many hours, many missions of happiness in an aircraft. And uh, I loved my passengers a lot. My aircraft so much so I said that's it Captain Stefan Ramsun was affected psychologically by the crash and was unable to return to the air Scandinavian Airlines re-examined its section procedures and began educating pilots on new features being introduced to their planes it was concluded that the crash of Flight 751 was due to airline negligence and could have been avoided.